Welcome to that lecture online and now let's take a look at the escape velocity of the eight planets in our solar system. Well, what does escape velocity mean? It's the velocity an object has to have to get away from the gravitational attraction of the planet, otherwise the planet will simply pull it back. So when you throw something up, it comes right back down because of the gravitational attraction. If I throw it faster, it will go higher, but eventually it will come back down. So how fast do I need to throw it so that it will go so fast that it will never come back? The, Earth may, the Earth's gravity may slow it down, but it will continue to move forward and continue to move away from the gravitational grasp of the Earth, and eventually it will just keep moving away and the Earth can no longer pull it back. What is that minimum speed? Well, for the Earth, it is 11.2 kilometers per second. How do we calculate that? Well, the escape velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the gravitational constant times the mass of the object you're trying to get away from divided by the radius of the radius of the object, in this case the radius of the Earth. So the number wise, 2 times the gravitational constant times the mass of the Earth divided by the average radius of the Earth and that comes out to be 11,200 meters per second or 11.2 kilometers per second. Well for the rest of the planets, notice for Mercury it's only 4.3 kilometers per second, for Venus almost as big as the Earth 10.4, for Mars it's 5.0, but take a look at Jupiter. You have to have an escape speed of 60.2 kilometers per second that's how fast you have to move to get away from Jupiter, or Jupiter will simply pull you back. For Saturn, it's 35.5, Uranus 21.3, and Neptune 23.5. It's simply a factor of its mass, or at least the square root of its mass, and also divided by the radius. So that means that if Jupiter had the same density as the Earth, Jupiter would be a whole lot smaller than it is now, the radius would be a lot smaller, and so therefore the escape speed would be a lot bigger. So it does depend upon the density to some extent, because the density will, will determine the volume of the object, but primarily the mass. Of course, a heavier object will require a larger escape velocity to get away from it. And there you get a nice other overview, another look at what it would take to get away from a planet if you were to fire a rocket and get away, and so that's what it would be. For the Moon, in comparison, the escape velocity of the Moon, for the Moon, V escape is about equal to about 3,000 meters per second, which means it's about 3 kilometers per second. So those astronauts that went to the moon and landed on the moon, their space vehicle had to reach speeds of a three, at least 3 kilometers per second in order to get away. Well, actually, the way they did it, instead of doing it all at once, they blasted off from the moon, they reconnected with the module that was, that was circling the moon, and then that module would then turn on the engines and gain the additional speed to get away from the moon. But from the moon, it's a whole lot easier to get away from than, for example, from Mars or Mercury or Venus or any of the other large planets. And that's how we take a look, another look at our solar system.